What's happening? Ray Carnes, the co-founder of Rectech Grills. Today we're going to talk about the awesome Rectech. If you already own one, you already know this. It's the best pellet grill on the market. It's by far and away the most bang for your buck. It is built like a tank. It's built to last a lifetime and it comes with a six year factory warranty. It's the most convenient grill to use. It gives you the most flavor and it's so easy. You press a button, the computer does the rest. However, if you own one long enough, there's a chance that you can have a malfunction. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about troubleshooting. The Rectech consists of five parts. You've got a fan, you've got an RTD, you've got a computer, you've got a hot rod, and you've got an auger motor, okay? Other than that, it's just the heavy gauge stainless steel and steel. So if you ever have a problem, we wanna help you figure out what's letting you down so we can have you back up and running in a snap. So let's get started. Thanks, Ray. If you're watching this video, it's because you have an error code on your computer. One of the things you want to look for is which error code it is. It's going to be either error code 1, 2, or 3. Very important that you pay attention to which one it could be. That'll help us solve your issue. All right, so the uh, first thing you want to do is know how to reset your error code. Very simple. Just press the power button. It'll clear the error code. You can go back to trying to run your grill. If you've got an error 1, error 1 means your grill is overheated. Overheats usually occur. Um, if ever they're legitimate, it's because you had a grease fire and you didn't change your foil. You lit the thing up and it got above 650 degrees. You don't want that to happen. In the event that it wasn't that, there are only a handful of things that it can be that'll throw an error one when you haven't had a fire in actual temperature above 650 in your grill. One of them is, is when you first get your grill, when you plugged in your, your temperature probe, so if you got a new grill, you just plugged in the temperature probe on the back of your board, you probably plugged them into the wrong tabs. RTDA are the tabs that you need to plug those into. If you have them on RTDB or one on each, you're gonna get an error code one, your grill will not run. If you've got a grill that you've had for a while and all of a sudden you have an error one, your grill hasn't been overheated, then you may have a broken wire. Visually inspect the wires coming from your temperature probe to the grill, make sure there's no break in that. If you can't find a break, you may need a new uh, temperature probe. Just give us a call, we'll get one out immediately to you. If you find a break in the wire, or a loose wire, you can hook it back up with, with a, uh, a simple uh, crimp on connector, put it back on the board, that'll get you through your next cook. Give us a call, we'll get you a new temperature probe out. And that covers pretty much everything on error one. So an error two message is a failure to light, or more technically, below 175 degrees for a period of longer than 20 minutes. So what you wanna look for with that is taking everything out of your grill, turn your grill back on by hitting your power button, and look at the fire pot, see if pellets are feeding. If they're not feeding, you wanna check down in the hopper, see if there's any sort of obstruction that's stopping the pellets from feeding. The other thing you wanna look for is possibly your igniter rod has failed. So you would have pellets feeding and they would start overflowing because they're not burning. The third thing could be that your blower fan isn't running. Now that's the thing that you hear all the time. So that's the easiest thing to check. It's underneath the grill towards the back. You hear it all the time. So one of those three things could be failing you, but those are the three things that have to run in order to create the fire. The igniter rod lights it, the auger motor feeds it, and the blower fan creates the combustion necessary to get the heat. So check those three things, and the next thing is going to be an error three. Error three is very simple. You had a, you had a loss of power. If your lights flickered, if they went out for a period of time while your grill was on, your grill is going to show you an error three and say that you lost power. There are a few other obscure things that can cause an error three. Sometimes you can have a bad extension cord that you're plugged into or even a bad outlet. I've seen all of those things in the few times I've seen error three issues. Do yourself a favor, try another extension cord or try another outlet before you uh, give up on your grill. And uh, odds are you're gonna find that that was the issue and your grill will run fine. You'll get through your next cook and that pretty much covers error codes. Back to you, Ray. So the Rectech's designed to give you years and years of enjoyment. I hope this helped in the uh, rare event that you maybe encounter a problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit RectechGrills.com and let your friends know about this awesome grill. Thanks for watching, guys. <music>